Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I have just got ready for the day, so I am wearing my, this is all, is it all Zara? I think it's all Zara. And um, this is from my recent Zara haul. It's my little white like knitted um, t-shirt. I have also got on some blue Zara jeans. Not that you can see them because I am slightly too tall, but, and I've also got on my faux leather jacket. This was from Zara last year, but it's such a good like jacket to throw on when it's not quite cold enough for a big coat, but yeah, you need something covering your arms. So this is the outfit that I've gone for today. And then on my feet, oh my God, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but guess who little old me has been working with? Only Ugg, actual Ugg. So I'm actually wearing my brand new pair of Ultra Mini Uggs. I do have these in another pair, um, in another pair, in another shade that I bought last year. Let me show them you. So these are the Uggs that I bought, uh, not last year, it was the beginning of the year, January. And um, these are the shade Antelope. So they're quite a kind of neutral, taupey colour. Really, really lovely. Um, and I've <laughs> got so much wear out of these. But as I said, Ugg reached out and um wanted to work with me which i was literally just 15 year old me who used to kick about wearing my fake hooks is screaming because i could not afford a pair of real ones so i was just buzzing so these are in the shade chestnut i think these look like classic uggs i've got the cream interior let me show them you next to each other there you go, just so you can kind of see the difference in colour if I hold them back like that. So you can see how these are kind of a little bit more neutral and these are a little bit more of like a rich brown colour. So I am wearing my chestnut Uggs today. Oh, still got the sticker on them. So I'm wearing these ones today. I'm actually going to get my nails done because my nails are hanging. They're so like overdue. I just haven't had like a spare like couple of hours just to go and get them done. So I'm going to have a little bit of a MOT on myself. So fresh nails. And then I'm also, I think I'm gonna pop in to maybe Home Sense, just to have a little look. I'm feeling very much in the full like, autumn winter mode now. So yeah, I'm gonna take you with me, but I need to put some perfume on. I'm gonna wear a new perfume that I have been really loving recently. This one is from Paco Rabanne. Look how cute the um, bottle is. And I love the fact that it's got sunglasses on. Very similar to the ones that I wear all the time. Like, I feel like if I was to be a robot, is this not just me? <laughs> so I'm gonna wear this one. This is, uh, what's it called? It's called Fame. Um, it's beautiful. It's in, um, Mm, it's like, it's a perfect, I'd say more of a daytime fragrance. It's not too floral, I don't like too like, I don't like florally fragrances. I prefer a little bit more of like a woodiness or like a muskiness. And this has the perfect combination of both. I am rubbish by the way with like explaining fragrances. So everything I've just said could be a total lie, who knows. So I've got my perfume on, I've um, got my Uggs on. I'm gonna be using my little Balenciaga bag. And yeah, I think that is me ready to go. I am gonna put my sunglasses on though because I don't know if you can see, it is sunny today, but it's cold. Perfect, perfect autumn day. I might even grab a little Starbucks. I'm in such a like good, happy mood today. Get my nails sorted and yeah, take you lot with me. So maybe, should we go to Starbucks on the way? Why not? Let's go and get Starbucks. Thank you very much. Cheers. You too. So I've got the goods. We have just received some news and um, it's kind of given me a bit of a kick up the bum to be honest. Our uh, new sofa that we're having in, you know, the family area, like the kitchen, dining, family bit. The new sofa for in there is actually coming a week earlier than we thought, which don't get me wrong, mum, that's great. Like, you know how annoying it is, like, waiting for sofas, they're all like about a 12 week wait. So knowing that's going to be here a week early is obviously great, but um, <laughs> I did really kind of want to like get the panelling and the, did I say that right? The panelling, as always, I just, I've lost the ability to... <laughs> I 
I've lost the a bit of <laughs> I've lost the ability to speak. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so sorry. What is wrong with me? I wanted to get the panelling and the painting <laughs> done in the family room first. We got there um, because. I think I said this before, I can't really be bothered with the hassle of having to like cover up loads of like new furniture and risk getting paint on it so I'd rather just do it while the room is literally empty. So it's meant that I've had to really pull my finger out and um, so yeah we will be doing the panelling I think in this vlog as well. So I am kind of getting all my bits out, out the way that I need to get done today as in leaving the house. And then me and Andy will have to go to B&Q to pick up all the wood so that we can do the panelling ourselves. It's the first time we'll have done um, this, so yeah, I'm um, I'm quite excited to do it. I do uh, I do quite enjoy like a new DIY little project. I do really enjoy it, but at the same time, you know, when it's your own house and you're like, I really don't want it to look bad. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, that'll be in this vlog. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, the next time I do a weekly vlog, I'm hoping the sofa will be here, um, or at least it'll be very close to being here. So that's exciting. So that back room will really start to pull together then. So yeah, that's fun. But for now, I'm gonna head to get these horrible, I've, I lost another nail as well this morning. I've, I think with all like the building stuff and just with all like the lifting and stuff in the last vlog, um, my nails have taken a bit of a battering so let me sort myself out first um, and then yeah then it'll be all operation house oh my gosh nails all done it was so busy in there um god I was, oh I'm a bit flustered I had my nails done I've gone for like a chocolatey chrome colour thought they were quite cool and then I've had to just grab a quick sandwich from um, from m and It's right by where I get my nails done. And yeah, they had all these like snazzy things like pokey bowls and these like noodle bowls. It all looked very nice, but I just fancied a good old classic ham sandwich. So I'm going to eat that and then I will be driving over to um, like Home Sense. So... Old, a bit windswept it's so windy today so hair probably looking a little bit ratty but I did get a few bits while I was in town so I did have a little trip to the white company which you will have seen I did go to home sense as well didn't end up getting anything in home sense I just wasn't I wasn't loving everything and I also had a little trip to Wittards as well so I'm going to show you the little bits that I bought excuse me I don't think so get your head out of there sir so I'll show you the bits that I bought from of course the dogs have all had to come and get involved haven't you I decided to treat myself to some new slippers because when I had my little wardrobe clear out which you will have seen in the last vlog I actually threw my old slippers away because they were battered. Like all the bottoms of them had come up and yeah, they were just, they'd see, they'd had better days. So I threw them out with the full intention of going to the white company and 
treating myself to some new ones. So I got these in like the camely colour. I had a pair, um, was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. I think it might have been last year that I got them um, in grey. So yeah, thought I'd go for a bit of a different colour this time. I cannot wait to put those on. Got those and then I got a couple of bits um, for the house. So basically wanted to have a little smell. <laughs> At some, yeah, you want to smell? At some of their uh, candles. Let me get them out first, actually. So I got these. These are the tuberose and cashmere candles. So you know they're pretty. Oh, thanks, Bolly. You know they're pretty candles where they have all like the dried things in them. I loved these. I just thought these, all like the plants in there, were just. Lovely. They had a few. Um, you'll have seen on the clips that I put in. They had like a few different ones, but this one. Oh my god, this was just my favourite scent. So this is the one I went for. Uh, I basically got two of these because I wanted two really nice, pretty candles for on our dining table. So coming into well, we are into like Sunday roast season now. I love, I love cooking a roast dinner. And it's one of my favourite meals to cook. And I love having friends around for roast dinner. And I just really like having some nice candles on the table. And we actually hadn't got any for the dining table. And I always like to save, like, my posh candles. <laughs> I save my posh candles for when people come round. So I needed some posh candles for my dining table. So I got these because they just smell incredible. And then I also got um, these to actually put them in and I've had my eye on these for a while and I've never got them because to be honest I have seen them cheaper elsewhere but I saw them on display today and I got suckered into them so yeah I've got these um what would you call these like tumblers like candle tumblers to basically keep the candle on so you can see it obviously it still has the wrapping on which it won't have so I thought two of those on the dining table would just look really, really nice when people come round and just, oh my God, the smell is incredible. So that's what I got from the White Company. I also popped into Wittards. Now I didn't mean to actually have a little haul from Wittards. Basically guys, what happened was when we moved into this house, our, um, my friend, we invited my friends up for like a weekend. God, my hair is struggling. One of my friends um, bought me a box of Wittard Chelsea breakfast like tea bags as she basically had made me a cute little like a little hamper of like goodies just like as a congratulations for buying our new house and as I said these are in the hamper and these are the best cup of tea I've ever had like and I have a cup of tea every day at least one cup of tea if not two and honestly these have just changed the game in terms of tea bags, so if you are a tea lover and you've never tried the Wittards Chelsea breakfast tea bags, honestly try them because I finished the box of them and I was like, what do I do now? Like, I can't go back. I can't go back to buying no <laughs> my normal tea bags. I can't go back to PG Tips. So she's like created a monster and now I've had to go and get some because I haven't had them for the last two days and I was craving a cup of tea so <laughs> i got them but while i was in there as you'll know wittards is just so nice for like your nice teas and like coffees hot chocolates i obviously had to get their hot chocolate while i was in there because it's just gorgeous so i got the wittards luxury hot chocolate so i think me and andy are gonna have one of these tonight and then i also got their um, orange flavored hot chocolate because i love orange chocolate so I thought I'd give that a try. I've never tried their orange hot chocolate before. So I've got these for in the cupboard. So we've got some lovely hot chocolate stuff. And then also, um, I can't remember the first person that bought me these, but you know um, these that you get with the, like the chocolate, oh, the light's reflecting there again, the chocolate with a wooden spoon. Now I know these on their own, these are actually like hot chocolates in themselves. I actually add this to my hot chocolate to make it even chocolatey, chocolatier so and i love them so i did get one of these for me and andy just as a little treat for tonight with our first nice little hot chocolate so yeah that was my little like wittards 
haul that I didn't mean to be a haul, but when I was in there, I was just like, yeah, they were giving free samples of hot chocolate at the door, and I got, oh, yeah, they, they suckered me in, they saw me coming, but there we go. And oh, one thing I did get, which I forgot, I popped into the body shop as well, and because my skin has started being really, really sensitive, which is really annoying, so my lovely neon moisturiser that I adore, my skin has just started rejecting it recently, so I put it on my legs, and my legs came out in like a really like loads of rashes, were really itchy. Yeah, my my skin's going through a funny phase at the minute. So at the minute, I've had no um, like proper thick moisturiser for when I get out of the shower. So I wanted like a thick body butter. So I actually wanted to try this one. I thought let's get into the season. So this is from the Body Shop, and it's their vanilla pumpkin. And they had this as like a tester. Again, I got suckered in with the testers as a tester on the door. And I just smelled it and, oh my gosh, it just honestly smells incredible. So I thought, you know what? Let's get into the season. Let's get an autumnal moisturiser. So yeah, from the body shop, vanilla pumpkin. Very, very happy with that. So yeah, that is my little mini haul of like cute autumnal bits everything is just so cozy and autumnal i love it i've got my hot chocolate got my new slippers like i'm gonna have such a lovely night i'm just about to have a bath and he's actually run me a bath bless him because uh, one thing i didn't tell you was yesterday when i was riding i had my first fall in 10 nearly 10 years like, bear in mind, for a lot of those years, I was having a break from riding. So that's not, like, a huge... I'm not wearing that as a badge of honour. But, yeah, it's been a long time since I've actually fallen off a horse. And I had a fall yesterday. It wasn't a bad fall at all. Like, I mean, no one wants to fall off a horse. But if you were going to fall off, that would be, like, quite an ideal way to fall. So I was jumping, and it was all going well. I was going over the jumps. And to be honest, it was my fault. I got a bit complacent with my riding. And... Yep, yeah, horse, she said no. She slammed her brakes on last second, just about to go over the jump, and yeah. So I jumped it, she didn't. So yeah, she stopped. I kind of went over her head. I landed on my feet, which, you know, very graceful fall. As I said, it wasn't a bad fall. Landed on my feet, still holding on to her neck like this. So I landed giving her a cuddle, basically. But yeah, I fell off and as I said, it wasn't bad. Jumped back on, carried on, all was fine. But because when I fell, I like braced myself for a fall. So I tensed up and I've literally I've got a spasm in my back now. So um, if you've ever had a back spasm, you'll know how annoying it is. So I'm kind of struggling to turn my head either way. And yeah, I've been told the best solution for it is to keep moving um just like slow take it easy but still move don't like sit and let it seize up so hence why i've been on the go today but it's i'm feeling it now it's sore so andy's ran me a nice bath bless him so i'm gonna have a bath put my pajamas on put my cozy slippers on and just have a really cozy night i can't wait so andy's run me a lovely bath which i'm very excited about Got my drink. Oh, I can't have a bath without having a cold drink. Is anyone else like this? I have to have a cold drink. One thing I do, did realise is I need my little wooden board again over my bath so I can pop my drink on there. But anyway, about to have a glorious bath. I have got my candle on. I've got my neon bath foam in there. Oh, so nice. I very elegantly got the laptop on the toilet. <laughs> I'm watching the Jeff Dahmer um, thing on Netflix at the minute. Probably not the most relaxing thing to watch while having a relaxing bath, but I'm a sicko, so there we go. Got a nice clean loungewear set to put on, new slippers and fluffy socks. So I'm about to have a lovely half an hour in my bath. We have just lit officially our first fire of autumn, winter and our first fire. In the house and i just can't get over how cozy it is in here how lovely is that fire oh my gosh i have never had a house with a real fire before even as a kid so this is literally like childhood dreams come true i've always wanted fire and i'm so pleased with my little log burner and how cute it is in here 
So yeah, I just wanted to share how cosy it is in here because I am feeling very, very content. Don't mind me in my dressing gown. I was just about to try on some outfits, but I have done quite possibly the best order from Nasty Gal I think I've ever done. So I'm gonna do a quick try and haul for you and show you some of the pieces I picked up. I feel like there's something for like every occasion. And yeah, I'm just, I've already tried these on for um, some Instagram stories that I just filmed, but I just thought I need to show you guys as well that watch the vlogs because I'm just, as I said, I'm really pleased. So let me show you what I got from Nasty Gal. So first up, this oversized black jumper dress, which I just think is gorgeous. I am wearing this in a size medium, so they do small, medium and large, because I just wanted that more baggy, comfortable fit, but I thought this would be so, imagine going out for a roast dinner, or just, you know, the cosy, cosy lunch at the pub. This is just such an ideal jumper dress, such a good just throw on jumper dress to have in the wardrobe. I really, really love this, and so inexpensive, but the quality of it is there. It's a nice thick material. It's not itchy. I am not wearing anything under this. It's not itchy or irritating. Um, it's really, really lovely. I love the sleeves on it. Oversized sleeves. The length of it is perfect. I hate it when knitwear finishes too short because I just think it cheapens it. Whereas when it's long, it just feels a little bit more well made. I don't know, but you could definitely have the sleeves up on this as well. I think it's gorgeous. And then these boots, can I fit? Oh my God, guys, I can fit my whole body in on YouTube. <laughs> I never ever managed to fit my whole body in. I always have to turn the camera that way and kind of have me over this side. My whole body fits in. Anyway, I am wearing um, boots also from Nasty Gal. Nice, chunky heel, super, super comfortable. So I just pop them on with this dress because I feel like together, they look really, really nice. But yeah, how lovely is this? I really, really hope they do this in other colours because it's just perfect. Just the perfect fit. Sorry, I bought a mirror up here, so I'm just checking myself out in the mirror as I go. Let me show you what else I got. Okay, so I think I need to give this um, a little bit of a steam. It's a little bit creased, but how gorgeous is this trench coat? I feel like loads of you always message me asking for a like really good dupe for my Burberry trench. And I feel like this is the dupe. Like this is so good. It does come with like a tie around thing for the waist. Let me get that. So it does come with this so you can tie it up as well but i quite like wearing it open when i'm wearing like there you go so you can wear it like that but because i love the outfit underneath i've just taken that off and i quite like how this looks i really like the pockets on this as well i feel like the pockets give it that more kind of like expensive looking vibe i feel like this looks like a lot more expensive than it actually was so yeah, if you are in the market for an affordable but timeless looking trench coat, then this might be the one. I love this. I love this whole outfit, actually. This is a very, very me outfit. And yeah, love this. Okay, this is giving Hailey Bieber vibes. I am obsessed with this whole outfit. The trousers, I love. They've got like these um, like turn-ups at the bottom there. So love how cool these look, but you could just as well wear these with like a little heeled boot for work. But I really like wearing my trousers um, a bit more informally with trainers. I just love that like business casual kind of vibe. And then this top, so these two items weren't like supposed to go together, but I had this vision in my mind, so I just had to go with it. And I love how these look together. This is like my ideal kind of like night out outfit or going out for dinner, uh, bottomless brunch, if like you want to wear this with heels. I think it's stunning. The top, it's almost like cargo style. Can you see these belt loops here? I just think it's such a cool, such a cool outfit, that's the only word I've got to describe it. I just feel very, very cool. This one is for the blazer dress lovers. Oh my God, this is such, such a statement. The light is playing me, but 
Look at this. Look at the fringing. Look at the fringing. Now, I'm not usually one for like tassels, but leather blazer dress with tassels, I'm here for it. I just think this is so gorgeous. I'm just wearing it with a pair of like um, calf leather boots that I already had, but if there was a dream outfit for me for a night out, this would be it. I'm such a big fan of a blazer dress, so I feel like this was just, this was just made for me. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my God. Also guys, what are your thoughts on loafers? I was so undecided about these, so yeah, but I feel like I just wanted to give them a go. And yeah, I quite like how they look, but I'm gonna pop them on um, with this blazer dress with like my socks, just to see what they look like. I wouldn't necessarily wear both of these together, um, but I definitely would wear loafers and socks with like a blazer, like oversized blazer combo. So I'm gonna quickly pop these on. Okay, what are we thinking? Hopefully, yeah, you can see them. I'm quite liking this kind of vibe. I think it's very, very cute. Hmm, I feel like this could grow on me. I don't know, if loafers are your thing, let me know. But I've always said I don't like them. However, I feel like, it's like overexposure, isn't it? Once you keep seeing something, it's just, they've kind of been growing on me. It's been one of those things where I thought, if I don't try them, I won't know, but what do you think? As I said, probably not with the <laughs> tassel leather blazer, maybe like a dark gray blazer, maybe like school girl vibes. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on these. This jumper is just amazing. I've popped it on with the camel trousers from the beginning because I just think the tones of it are all just so lovely. I'm loving like the chocolate browns, camel, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like it's because of my hair colour. Does that make sense? I feel like all these tones are just oh, lovely. Anyway, love this. The length of the sleeves, again, is lovely. But this is the best part. Now, guys, I couldn't have picked a worse day. To have not fight tan my back. But look at that. How gorgeous is that backless detail? Now, they do do this in other colours. I believe they do it in cream and black but for me it was a no-brainer i think the chocolate is just gorgeous but how nice is that you know when you want to just look nice but maybe you're going out for like a nice dinner or you just got a nice event but it's cold and you do want to be covered up but show a bit of skin at the same time i just think this is so gorgeous like i don't own anything like this in my wardrobe so yeah and this color as well as i said I don't know if it's the hair, it's just, it was speaking to me. I had to grab this. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that I picked up. I did grab um, a couple of other little bits as well, but I did pop everything over on my Instagram stories, but these are like my favorite items. I had to show you them. Hello guys, please excuse the state of me, but I've had a little bit of makeup on all day now, and it's definitely coming off my chin, but guess, <laughs> I mean, you literally couldn't write this, but the sofa, you remember I told you the sofa had, we've been told that it was coming a week early. Yeah, it actually came a week even earlier. So it arrived yesterday. Not that we were expecting it to arrive because as you can see by the wall behind me, no panelling has happened, no painting has happened, but we have a sofa. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm honestly, so so pleased with it it looks even better than i remembered it um but yeah let me show you it so this is the sofa in a like kitchen dining room area i have popped a rug down this one is one of the vintage style rugs from zara home i just think it goes really really nice in this area but i am so pleased with how this looks i feel like the sofa and the rug go really really nice together Obviously, we have no um, like cushions or anything on there yet. Uh, that's something that I am going to look for. I'm thinking of getting some nice autumnal, maybe like brown or dark green cushions for on there. And then maybe like when the summer comes round, I can switch them out so it looks a bit different. But yeah, I am so, so pleased. I can't tell you how comfortable this sofa is. 
Like, it's just so deep. I can't explain it. Oh, like, honestly, lying on this sofa just feels like you're on a cloud. It's so, so nice. It finally made... Oh, there's Andy. About to start some dinner in the background. But it finally makes this whole sort of, like, back room just feel... Just, again, that little bit more complete. So, so pleased with it. I'm obsessed with the colour of it. I was really worried. Because when we all, it's from DFS, by the way, the sofa is. Um, so, yeah, shout out to DFS for their amazing delivery service. Because I can't believe how quick this sofa came. And, oh, my God, how comfortable it is. I was a little bit worried when we ordered this sofa. Because we went to see it in, like, the DFS showroom. And they didn't have this colour in there they only had it in like i think it was like a dark gray and yeah so we had to kind of go just off a fabric sample and hope that it was all right and you know when you order something like that and then by the time it comes around to the point of it being delivered you're like i can't actually remember what this looks like so yeah i was really really happy when it arrived and love the color as i said so comfortable yeah this is going to be the perfect sofa for you know when you've had a sunday dinner and then you just want to collapse, have a bit of a food coma nap while watching a film. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased that this has finally arrived before Christmas as well. Couldn't have gone any better. So now when you walk in this room, you've got the kitchen, dining table, and now we have a little bit of sort of family area over there. So next steps for this area is get some lovely cushions for the sofa. I do still want to panel these walls because I think it will make it feel really cosy and nice in here. As you can see, we've already got the rug in here. And so I also just need to find a nice coffee table for in here. And then that, I think for now, this side of Christmas, that will be everything that gets done in this room. And then next year, I can't believe I'm already talking about house plans for next year, but then anyway next year i think we're going to kind of have some nice shelves done on that wall and make it almost like a little bit of a media wall but quite minimal and very stripped back and um, so yeah that is the plan and oh for this corner as well um i do want to get a nice little maybe like a little sideboard just for a little bit of extra storage we have lots of just bits that sometimes we just don't know where to put them you know like board games and extra candles and just you know just stuff like that that i think would be great just going away in there and then i think a nice lamp because as you can see that corner is quite dark so everywhere else is quite nicely well lit but that corner is just a little bit dark and dull so yeah nice sideboard with a nice i think a nice big statement lamp on there and then yeah i think we'll be in a really good position then the house is really really coming together I'm just so pleased with this setup. I think this is going to look so, so nice. But yeah, I think for now, for this year, this, that will be it. And we're already saving quite a lot of money by doing the panelling and painting ourselves. Even though it's going to be quite... I mean, it's going to be a full weekend job. But just at the minute, guys, with the way things are, everything's just costing a fortune. So where we can, we're going to try and do a lot of things ourselves. Obviously, we can't do that for a lot of the house but on that note i'm gonna actually take you upstairs and give you a little update on the dressing room so if we come into the dressing room god it's a very gloomy dark day guys sorry about that let me put my can of coke on there gosh look how gloomy and dark it looks in here today it is very feeling very very wintry today but i thought i'd give you a little bit of an update on the makeshift dressing room that i've got going on at the minute which by the way is serving me very well it's been it's actually been bliss filming this week going from taking my outfits from here and just nipping across into that room there to film has honestly just been a game changer i'm so annoyed i didn't think of just doing this in the first place but yeah it's been working out amazingly okay i have you balancing on a very inconspicuous looking vase so if you do topple over i apologize can I stand? No, I can't stand up. I literally look like a pea head. So, little update to the dressing room. We have been, well, I've been like reaching out to people and kind of going through just some quotes and some guesstimations about what to do in here because as you guys know, 
I would love to have it as a really, a really just lovely looking functioning dressing room because it's obviously what I do for work. I want it to look and feel nice. However, some of the prices that are getting thrown around and I'm just gonna be dead honest, are just extortionate. And to be frank, there's just other, and it's not that we've not budgeted for doing that. It's more so that there's just other things right now that we would rather put our money towards and having a fancy dressing room with all the bells and whistles, it just doesn't, cut it in terms of what I'm comparing it to. I think what I've realised and getting a bit deep now guys is that life is very short and you have to spend it doing things that make you happy and that you love and enjoy doing and as you guys know I adore, I love my horse riding and after what happened with Ranger I'm not going to go into it all again it's just really upsetting and after that, it's been a bit of a hole, hole in my life, hole in my heart, even though I've continued to horse ride and all of that. It's, it's not the same as when you have your own, your own horse to work on and love. And yeah, so that is something that eventually I want to do again. I do want to have my own again. And yeah, because it's, it's been in my life since since I could walk. I've loved horses. So there's been things like that when I've looked at my life a bit and when I've, been, when I've been sat being an adult and budgeting and looking at the finances that I've thought, is that going to really make me happy? Is there better ways to spend money and be a bit more frugal? So didn't need to go into all of that, but we're just having a bit of an honest therapy session and just had a bit of an epiphany really over the last couple of weeks that whilst it would be so lovely to have a gorgeous 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 dressing room you don't have to spend thousands of pounds in doing it you can still achieve the same or at least a very very similar vibe for a fraction of the cost and i've done it before we did it in the last house and so yeah what we're going to be doing is guys i'm going to be doing a completely separate video for this really exciting i'm going to be creating a luxury looking dressing room this has been very very well planned out but it's all going to be an ikea hack everything's going to be from ikea everything is going to be affordable i use that because affordable is very subjective i know but in the grand scheme of things in in terms of DIY and uh, bespoke dressing rooms and wardrobes and things like that it's going to be affordable so me and Andy have been actually sat down planning it he's going to help me because there's going to be lots of little touches that will make it feel like it's not from Ikea and make it give it that luxurious edge there's going to be a really fun video of us transforming this whole room with Ikea into a luxurious looking dressing room and I'm really excited I'm going to show you every bit along the way because whenever we've done anything like this because we've done Ikea hacks before so I did it in my last dressing room and we also did I'll pop a picture in here our living room we made our own um it looked built in because we did like the mouldings around the top but we did our own like built-in media wall but that was always like the house question that I got quite a lot which was how did you do the Ikea media wall dressing room da -da -da -da. and I never really documented it so I'm going to document the whole thing from start to finish and show you how you can basically save yourself a small fortune and yeah create a bit of luxury at home for when you're on a budget which is very much what we are on right now. So yeah, guys, I really hope you're excited for that video. It would have been so nice to just cut this now and show you it all fully done, but I don't want to do that. I want to take you along for the ride. So I hope that's okay. Okay.